Yeah, the talk is in English, so hello and welcome. Um, uh, the talk is about the Atari Cold Fire project. I hope using the official Atari logo doesn't uh, constitute copyright infringement. Well, I hope I get away with this. Um, our homepage is acp.atari.org. Um, and our objective is to build a new Atari compatible computer. Um, since Atari went into bankruptcy, I guess, in 1996, and uh, there hasn't been an official Atari computer since 93. There have been some clones in the late 90s, and so we thought maybe new hardware would, would re re revive the Atari scene. We have been active since 18 months, have 37 members, hopefully some more after this talk. Um, the project is open hardware. This means that the PCB schema is free. Um, the cut files themselves, I don't think uh, the person who made them will release, release them, but well, maybe we can lobby him into doing this. Um, the software is open source. As far as it's possible, of course, I mean, like, uh, TOS itself is owned and the Atari, but we've got some licenses for this. Okay, but the software we write ourselves, of course, will be open source. So, um, what has happened? Um, well, we have finished the design. Um, people have done a mock-up. This is nice. And... There have been prototypes built. Um, sweet prototypes have been finished. Um, I even got one with me. So if, if you want to have some hands-on with this, you can come to me. Um, uh, and there's currently, well, what's currently going on is, is porting the software. And, well, we've made it boot. So this works. Um, now, what are the features? Of, of, of this computer. Currently, it's, it's Atari ST compatible. Um, that's happened in cooperation with, with uh, the Project S, Suska. Um, maybe we're working also on, on Falcon compatibility. And um, it also uh, only takes uh, 3 to 5 watts power consumptions. So this blue thing here is a battery. And it can run from this. Uh, it's also got a PCI connector, so you can plug it into a backplane and, well, so you have adding cards. Um, cold fire processor that's 860 um, uh, car compatible, FPGA, Altera Cyclone. That's where the custom chips are emulated. Well, USB, Ethernet, MIDI, DVI, Compact Trash, SD card, and the legacy Atari ports, um, extension headers, everything. Um, price tag is currently about 600 euros. <coughs> so, um, no, we need you. Um, we need you for what? Like, like if you have experience with with TOS or Mint and can help porting it, we need you. Um, people who have experience with with FPGAs maybe can implement some some video codecs in this. People who want to port uh, Linux 68K uh, to it, welcome. Um, we are also planning on doing a case for it. Um, currently, yeah, we think we'll do a laptop with this. And so, so if people have access to thermoforming, plastic thermoforming uh, factories, well, we need you too. Or if people can design this, we need you. And well, you can contact us via acpinfo at atari.org. The eternal fame of the Atari community will be yours. Okay, thank you. <laughs>